I might buy one. All right, coming up next, uh, the Orange County District Attorney's Office did something I think is pretty funny. We've talked from time to time about these uh, scammers who call people up and claim they're with the IRS and you owe them money. Then they hope you call back and agree to hand over money to them. Um, One of their investigators decided to take on one of the scammers. He actually answered the scammer's phone call and scammer called them back and they had a conversation that they recorded. You might enjoy this coming up. John and Ken, KFI, Libya's News. John and Ken Show, John Cobell and Ken Shampoo, KFI AM 640. All right, coming up after 3 o'clock, um, one of the worst things of many bad things that Arnold Schwarzenegger did when he was governor of California is he commuted the sentence of a murderer. A murderer who was connected to Fabian Nunez. And did it only because Schwarzenegger was friends with Fabian Nunez, the former Speaker of the Assembly. That's all. Yeah. That's like, all like, he did. If, uh, he used the power of being governor to help his friend's son who had helped kill someone. That's Esteban Nunez. And the word is he's going to be paroled within a week. The Dis- day has finally come. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Schwarzenegger cut the sentence in half. We'll get into it. Yeah, and we'll remember Luis o'clock. Santos, the poor kid that died at the hands of Esteban Nunez and his gang. Coming up after three o'clock. Uh, I think a few months ago, we were talking, because I actually got this call on my home phone a few times. One of these scammers that claims they're from the Internal Revenue Service. You get this recording. Mine always sounds like it's coming from a million miles away. That wasn't a guy with an accent, but it was just like, uh, we want to let you know that you owe a certain amount of money. And if you don't pay it immediately, uh, there could be legal action taken against you, including arrest. It's a boiler room in Cairo. Yeah, I called back the number. When I got to work, I did. I don't want to use my home phone. Nobody answered. But people get these calls all the time, and apparently they work. Somebody eventually answers because they're scamming people out of a great deal of money. Uh, It turns out that Damon Tucker, who's head investigator for the major fraud unit in the Orange County DA's office, he got one of these on his personal cell phone. Let's play the message he got, and we'll tell you what he did next. IRS is filing a lawsuit against you. To get more information about this case file... Please call immediately on our department number 509-790-0354. I repeat, 509-790-0354. Thank you. It does sound like a computer voice there, doesn't it? It does. It Mine was a regular guy. I which makes it sound more legitimate in a way. Because yeah, it sounds right. like a recorded message from the government. But, you know... It, well, unless, he, you're, unless you're really out of it, you should know that the IRS does not do business this way. They usually do it by letter. Well, Damon Tucker, again, head investigator, major fraud unit, Orange County DA, he called the number to he see did. what would happen. And he got a goofball that uh, he started going back and forth with. Let's uh, play the audio of Tucker and the scammer. Well, it actually ties up your lines for a few minutes to where you can't call the, the possible victims. But actually, you are calling the police. That's the part that's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> Not possible. You're a liar, too. No. Oh my God, you're a liar. So do you have a script that they give you? And then you basically go down a decision matrix? No, no, nothing like that. Nothing like that? How do you guys get rip off the people from their money? It's easy to rip off people. Americans are stupid. You don't know the script to, you know, make Americans fool or cheat them. Yeah. Americans are fool. Vegetables, if you call them. You call them vegetables? Absolutely. Usually the good cons call them whales or pigeons. You guys are using vegetables now? Is that the term? Yes. Yeah. No, not whale, nor pigeon. They always been a vegetable, you know that? So how'd you learn how to do this? It, it, there's nothing to learn, okay? There's nothing to learn. Eric, you just talk to the Americans and you make out how stupid they are. And you so you figured out an IRS scam and you and you think that works? It does work. We pick up old people. We yeah. pick up uh, non-Americans, we pick up uh, Im- uh, immigrants, yeah. we pick up uh, some of the dumb girls. Girls are, we really hunt girls well, okay? Young girls, they are dumb. Why would you go for a mark, a, a victim that doesn't have a lot of money? That doesn't seem very bright. Seems like a waste of resources. No, 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 it's not like that. Uh, see, a victim is a victim, no matter they have $1,000 or $1. They're still a victim. You're a busy man? Yes, I am. What busy man calls a dumb person like me? The police. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm actually getting paid to do this right now. That's the funniest part. I'm actually recording everything you say, and you're actually calling the police. That is the hilarious part of this. 
know what? You know what's hilarious? <laughs> you call yourself police. That's hilarious. Well, it is. He's, he's he is right. with the DA's office. I, I, I can't. Does he sound Eastern European to you? What were you picking out of that accent? That's what that's, I got. That's a tough one. I couldn't really tell, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, it didn't sound like a Nigerian. No, no, <laughs> it wasn't Middle Eastern. Yeah, I thought it was Eastern European, but I, I, you know, could, I'm not an expert. Could be. But, but yeah, could play a little clip of that again. The young girls are stupid. <laughs> well, he's, he's a... there's nothing to learn. Okay, there's nothing to learn. Eric. You just talk to the Americans and you make out how stupid they are. We're Russian. Yeah. Yeah. Something so closer to Europe than anywhere else. I had a Bulgarian roommate and that's not too far off from huh. her accent. All right. Yeah, that could be it. Okay. So Americans are fools. They are stupid. <laughs> vegetables. They are vegetables. He's right. Well, again, the easiest thing in the world just to you, randomly call people, tell them you're with the IRS, ask them to send a check. People will. And if you're making a thousand of these calls and they're easy to just leave these messages, you only get one to call you back, but you get ten thousand dollars from them. That's a great day's work. And there's no or even a hundred dollars from them. You there's know, just no, keep doing it. no money up front. Yeah. Well, you got to have a phone line. Yeah. Yeah. And you can get uh, you could probably get some kind of uh, well, well, like the uh, the spam people. They have a computer that randomly generates calls. This guy, Tucker, apparently spent some time after that repeatedly calling their number, giving fake names from movies until those on the other end told him to stop calling us. He said, I figured if I just tied up their line, that's time they won't get to spend trying to get another victim. Well, did they track down the phone number to arrest these guys? I think, no, the rest of the story said because a lot of these are overseas, it's hard to prosecute. And I uh, have a feeling that guy's well, not anywhere in the U.S. or even close. Well, then there's nothing you can do about it. These guys are going to make money until they until they die. And how do they get the money? I guess you mail it to them somewhere, like a P.O. box overseas, or where do they? Probably. How do they get yeah. them? Or they have it wired to them? <laughs> it's people are stupid. I'm with him. They're vegetables. They're vegetables. They're vegetables. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. All right, coming up next, we had a vegetable as a governor a few years back named Schwarzenegger, and man, worst thing he ever did. Disgusting. He, he gave out a big favor to an old friend whose son was part of a murder. Talk about it next because the day is coming that that kid is going to be free. Johnny.